Are you on your way in or out? <laughs> your, your, your timing's perfect. I, I just got here. Oh, that's okay. I'm not going to stay. Uh, this is some paperwork you need to fill out before you can start at the clinic, and I thought I'd drop it by and give you a head start. Thank you. Your generosity continues to amaze me. I really don't understand why you're being so nice to me. It's probably better if I don't really examine it too closely, huh? Well, I've already told you, Alan. If I want people to give me a second chance, the least I can do is give you one. I, I know that's what you said. But? I just somehow think there might be another reason. Such as? Improving your stock with Monica so you could get reinstated into GH. So, if you have trouble with my motives, uh, I'd be happy to give this job to someone else. No, 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 no. Do I look unhappy? That's what I thought. Tony! Alan! What are you doing here? Alan? You know, Tony works in a clinic just a few blocks from here, and I needed some medical advice, so I decided... Alan to... lives here. You had no right to tell her that. Why don't we discuss it inside? Come on. Come on, Alan. Let me show you. Come, come inside. <laughs> come on in. I'm doing some research in the neighborhood. Research? About what? She's a private investigator, Alan, remember? Since I'm only here a couple of hours a day, it's really important that I keep my identity a secret. Well, not that I would speak to anyone in this cesspool, but your secret is safe with me. It's funny, I always thought a stakeout, you know, you, you'd have like machine guns stacked in the corner or something. No, no, nothing that serious. I'm just keeping my eye on a couple of people. Oh, really? Anybody I know? Maybe I can help. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I prefer to honor the private and private investigator. Alan, you never agreed to keep my identity a secret. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, Felicia. I will be the soul of discretion. There's some unsavory characters around here. I guess I don't have to tell you to uh, watch your back. Oh, yeah, I know that. And thanks for caring. Does Mac know you're here? Yes, he does. And he knows that I can handle it. Okay, tomorrow's your first day at work, so don't be late. Oh, thanks for dropping by. I'd offer you something to drink, but I really haven't had a chance to stock up yet. I need to speak with you off the record. All right. Did somebody hire you to keep an eye on me? No, Alan. Please don't lie to me. It's just that I was watching you when Tony told you that I was living here. You didn't even bat an eye. Does that prove anything? Mm -hmm. Maybe that you know that I, I have a, a problem, an addiction, as my family so lovingly calls it. Is that what it is? I, I was determined to get rid of the, uh, the pain in my hand so that I could resume surgery, which I so sorely missed. And in the process, I developed um, a need for controlled pain medication. It's called hydrocodone. A need? Mm. Unfortunately, it turned around and... Uh, it bit me, and um, I did develop an addiction, but it's not a serious one. Oh. Well, why don't you stop it? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. I I'm actually in the process of doing that, literally, as we speak. Oh, how's it going? It's going good. Um, if my family uh, were supporting me instead of judging me, then I wouldn't be living in that glorified jail cell across the hall. They know you're here? Well, I, I insisted... Um, that I take control of my own life. I needed a period of isolation. That's very courageous. I, I also insisted that I work at the clinic with Tony instead of going to Mercy where everybody expected me to go. I think working with Tony again is going to be good for both of you. In, in case you're wondering, I'm only going to be dealing, you know, doing administrative work. Why would I wonder about that? Well, you're married to the police commissioner. And if you knew of a doctor with a drug problem that was dealing with patients directly, you'd have to notify him. Well, I know the kind of person that you are, Alan. And I know how important it is to heal people for you. And no matter what your personal problems are, you would never let them affect your work. Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad so. 
Nobody still remembers. Are you in a program? Are you getting any kind of help at all? Absolutely. I know that I couldn't do this on my own. Listen, Felicia, you, you could help me if you wanted to. If there's anything that I can do to help you with your recovery, Alan, please ask. Just respect my privacy. Don't tell anybody that I'm here. Done. Well, I got work to do. I better get going. I have a feeling both of us are not going to be on Cortland Street very long. You better believe it. starting a new job. I need a little pick-me-up. No, that's not good enough. I need it here, now. Look, I'm running behind. If I get fired, you're gonna lose one of your best customers. I'll be waiting. <laughs> 